Managing a sustainable supply of forest-grown teak requires responsible harvesting. But it's difficult to implement best practices and sustainability when consumer demand is so great and the trade is so lucrative for those involved. Science can help. Satellite and other remote sensing technology allows researchers to map forests with amazing accuracy and on a scale that cannot be covered by people on the ground. By comparing reported logging figures with actual amounts determined by satellite imagery, it's possible to determine which countries are under-reporting logging rates. What follows is the application and enforcement of policy, but illegally harvested timber will not grow back anytime soon. Policies can be effective up to a point. Compliance and having all parties in the teak trade working together to regulate the trade and ensure its sustainability is important. Unfortunately, where there is money to be made from commodities, illegal trade can flourish. It turns out that there's a lot that we can do. We can buy only teak that's known to be from a sustainable source. But how can we be sure that what is labeled sustainable truly is? Methods now exist to take the tiniest amounts of DNA and determine their origin through exciting new DNA fingerprinting techniques. Your timber supplier may be tempted to lie about its origins, but the DNA won't. There are other measures that can be put in place to make the sustainability of teak happen. We can make sawmills more efficient so that less teak goes to waste. We can develop and introduce methods to grow better quality plantation teak. We can come up with incentives for companies that implement best practices, not just laws to beat down transgressors. We each have a role to play in making teak an ecologically and socially viable resource well into the future. Teak forests are but one example of a natural resource that could benefit from our help. What secret forest products are there in your living room?